Linear layout is a view group that aligns all children in a single direction, vertically or horizontally. You can specify the layout direction with the Android orientation attribute. So, Sketchwear 2 shows true linears here in the views section, horizontal and vertical, but actually they are the same. You can simply change their orientation from orientation property also. You can make responsive designs using weight property. From responsive I mean widgets will adjust themselves according to the available screen size. So let's create a realistic send message activity user interface. We will not create the logic. We will just create UI. So here we have three edit textures and a button. If we set height web content and weight one, that widget will take all available free space. At this moment, text in the message field is aligned to the center. So if we change the gravity to top the text will be aligned to the top in that particular field. And if we place true and subject text field is below the message field and set gravity of the message text to bottom, it looks a lot more interesting. If we have more than one elements with equal weight, then they will share the equal available space. And if I change the orientation, one element covers the whole screen because its width is set to match parent. So I will change it to absolute zero. Then they will again share the equal available space. Still one text field is taking less than our desired space because its weight is zero so it is it has zero importance and its width is wrap content so we will change its width to a fixed number then it will take that space at all costs. Now back to the normal. If we want to show two widgets in same line in a vertical linear, we will place a horizontal linear inside it and place those two particular widgets inside that horizontal. If you look carefully, that text field and the button are not aligned properly because their heights are different. So we will set gravity of the linear to center vertical and center horizontal. At this point, last text field is a little bit shorter from the start. That's because it is nested in true linears and both linears have the padding 8, 8, 8. So 8 plus 8 are equal to 16. We need to set padding to 0 of inner linear. Then it will be equal to other text fields. Let's make it more realistic by removing the button and replacing it with an image view which will work as a button I can't place the image view here so reduce the width of edit text which is already placed there 
then place the image view and set it back to normal. To place the image here, click on three dots menu, import image, download icon and select the image which you want to download and make sure you have a working data, data connection because it will be loaded from the internet. Now let's reorder them to a standard alignment. And to allow a screen rotation, click here and change the orientation to both. And finally, we have the decent looking user interface for the send message activity.